Hello, welcome back. My name's Crystal and I wanted to thank you for stopping by today. Um, today I have a Dollarama and Dollar Tree haul, so I have some items to share with you guys. But first I wanted to mention to you, um, I did put out my first round of Christmas DIYs. So if you haven't had a chance to see that video yet, I'd be really happy if you went and checked it out and let me know what you think. So, um, yeah, there were some great ideas on there and some great comments and feedback. So a little bit of something for everyone. So hope you can get some inspiration out of it. Anyways, let's jump into the haul today. Um, I picked up a guilty pleasure. So a four pack of crunchy bars, who doesn't love crunchy? Um, so $3 for the four pack. I thought that was pretty good because a single bar is 82 cents. So um, in the end, I think this price fares out better. And um, secondly, has anyone ever made their own sponge toffee? Um, I did years ago, but I think it's something I'm gonna make for Christmas this year. So yeah, I'm gonna have to Google a really good recipe or find one on Pinterest because sometimes they can get really dense but I really want to get the foamy bubbly kind and hopefully it works out for me so yeah I'm gonna try that and see how it works out for me this year another one not a staple but something I just saw and immediately had a craving for is some butterscotch pudding <laughs> So a four pack for a dollar, so not so bad. Um, yeah, that'll last me a while. I'm not gonna devour it all in a week, but at least when that thought is in my head, I will have uh, something to go to. Yum. Um, I picked up, I was looking for just a nice plain black ribbon, a tiny one. So this is so shimmery and everything. So $1.25, two and a half meters only. The meters seem to get getting smaller and smaller all the time but anyways so when I started pulling it out it really unraveled a lot so I think this is gonna have to be one that you keep your eye on um, and be quite gentle with but it is really pretty and metallic so I'm glad I got that one um, I picked this up for one of my boys for his stocking I've showed this many times in the past um, it's a medicated lip balm and it's really cooling and soothing. One of my boys has just a horrible time with chapped lips. Like, I mean, they crack, they bleed, they're so bad. I've given him the O'Keefe's, the orange um, brand name one, and I gave it to him, but I haven't asked him how it's done for him. Probably because it hasn't been really chapped as of yet, but I gave it to him before the season started, so... I just got him this one as well for backup in case he loses the other one. And then, um, mangers are hard to find if you ask me. So in the um, village accessories, this uh, nice little manger scene was $1.50 only. So I grabbed that. I don't know, um, depending on where I place it, whether I leave it colored the way it comes or I just might spray paint the whole thing in a chalk white. I think that would be pretty too, just depending on the setting and where I wanna put it. So I was glad to find that. And then probably a month ago or so, I seen some men's slippers and they were such a great quality, but they only had smalls left and they were like that really nice thick felt on the top and then the cushiony Berber um, woolly white insides and I haven't seen them since. I was hoping that other stores would have brought them out so that I could get a better size. But in the meantime, I thought these ones weren't too bad. They have a nice, I mean, it's not a very, that's not too bad, the sole, but they're just for indoors for one of my boys. Um, he likes to throw on his slippers when he's up and down from his gaming table or whatever. So I don't, he might even call these grandpa style, but I don't know. I can't keep up with the trends, but if he doesn't use them, um, one, of, one of us will. But yeah, for $4, you can't go wrong for a pair of slippers, but I'm still crossing my fingers to find the better ones. 
Yep, so that was it, short and sweet for Dollarama. Um, Dollar Tree, I'll start with their food items. These are so yummy, cheese balls. Cheese balls, you can't really find them around a lot everywhere, so Dollar Tree usually seems to have them, so I grabbed them, I've had them, they're good, I like them. Yummo. Um, they brought out a few new baking items in their food aisle, so they now carry butterscotch chips. So that's not too bad. So 100 grams for $1.25. Um, yeah, I think that's an okay value. So I'll just have to see how they taste in comparison to like the actual Chippets butterscotch version. But yeah, this comes in handy with a lot of holiday recipes if you're into baking. So I grabbed that to try it. Um, I grabbed just another normal black mask. Um, I buy these for my son. He goes to the gym every day, so uh, I just like to refresh him with a new one every now and then. So I got him that one. Um, I bought this dish brush. So again, I like to change these out on a monthly basis. So I do that for scrubbing the pans. Yes. Um, these came to Canada within the last month or so. It's the LED projector light. So it takes a couple batteries and um, I think the States Dollar Tree had these like well over a year ago and so I had seen some people uh, do a display of how they look and uh, just the galaxy picture itself looked like a really nice um, version. And so I just grabbed that for a spare room or for whatever any purpose I just thought I liked it when they displayed it so I'm gonna grab it so I have it <laughs> isn't that always the case you see somebody likes or you want a much needed item you think you have to have it but whatever <laughs> I think we all have a little bit of that in us um, I got another one of these really awesome cutting mats, like some things that the Dollar Tree comes out with. Oh, sorry, I forget when I shake the table, my camera's on there. Um, this was the perfect size for when I was cutting my felt wreaths that I showed in my last video. Um, I could lay this on my lap and uh, just cut away while I was watching a TV program. So it was the perfect size and got the job done. And this is another repeat. I just love this rub-on transfer. There are so many awesome words on here. Like, they just filled every inch of space on this one. But um, my goal is to learn this calligraphy. How nice would it be to be able to do your own um, handwriting on crafts and everything instead of having to rely on a cutout or a rub-on or something? So that's my goal is just to get really good. If I practice every night trying to do this calligraphy, I think I'll be a happy camper. So that's my goal. <laughs> I found a couple of more canvas prints and um, they just suit me where I am in my life right now. So this one says, I am a child of God and there's some gold glitter in it. So I like that. And then the other one says, God is love. And again, it's foiled in gold. So I couldn't leave them in the store. They had to come home with me. So there's those two. Um, I found this awesome gift sack, 31 and a half inches by almost 24 inches. So that's what it looks like. And if I bring in a close up of the material, you'll know what it is. It's kind of like that um, canvasy, cardboardy kind of texture. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it doesn't even say what it's made of, but I just thought it was really nice believe in the magic of Christmas and again it's one that I will probably just stuff with a pillow and um, anchor up beside my tree or the fireplace so I just thought it was a really nice version there was a second um, design as well but I don't recall what it said I was finally happy to see these come to my store so they're um, they're the better quality um, towels um, I don't know if they're still called microfiber or not, but regardless, um, I just like the pattern. 
um, gnome for the holidays and I love that they got the three patterns of the gnomes on there. So there's also um, pot holders and oven mitts that go with this series, but I've yet to find them. So I really want to get them to uh, complete a set. And then one of these towels I will likely um, create just a throw pillow for the couch. So I'll have one to display and then one to make a pillow with. So yeah, I'm looking for the pot holder and oven mitt still, but have not yet come across them. And then these came out, so they're the uh, wreath forms in the star shape. So I was really successful in making my pumpkin wreath form over um, the fall season, which I showed another DIY on. So I was hoping that I would have the same success with one of the star forms. So I have a few ideas. I tried one out already. It didn't come out so well, so I dismantled it. And, I'll just need to find some time to put a different one together. And when I do, I'll make sure I share it with you guys. So I grabbed three of those. And then the final item, I just love these placemats. The quality of them is so awesome. Um, so again, I'm just going to make some pillows with them. And they do have the really awesome backing as well. So I can um, unseam some of it and stuff it and then put it back together. But I did buy two and... I would like to um, do a print of a deer head possibly or just um, sketch in the words Merry Christmas on this in like a gold um, glitter paint of some sort. So yeah, really nice quality are these ones too and I really just love the simple checkered pattern of the Christmas colors on there. So yeah, that's my goal for those. But that's everything I have for you guys today. Um, again, thanks for stopping by. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, apparently I've learned that the more likes a video gets, the more attention the channel will get. So if you want to help me out by liking my videos, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll do the same for you. Until next time, guys. Have a great evening. Bye.